Okay, I got this one out last. So let's flip this one. Y'all be careful when you put, oh, that one came right out. You heard it fall? I got something to tell you once I take this lid off, this pan off. We heard it fall when we turned it over. Beautiful. The pan can't get any cleaner than that, y'all. Beautiful, gorgeous cake. Thank you, Jesus. I always thank God, y'all. I always thank God for his goodness. Because he definitely is the source of every great, true, and divine success. And when you need your tail beat and he needs your attention, he can cause you to fail. He will. When he wants your attention. Trust me. I just left that season. Okay? Beautiful. I mean, let me flip this one out and then I'm going to tell you. But one thing I want to tell you, even though you may want a quick release, still be very slow in turning it over. And I'm telling you what I have learned. But I'm telling you that because I learned from experience. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, can, can, can bunts get any more beautiful than this? Can they get any more perfect? The devil lives a lot. That looks like a big pineapple brain. Look at the sides. That's God, y'all. There's nothing but God. And those eggs. Look at these cakes. I can't pick them both up at the same time. I want to, but I can't. What I want to tell y'all is that even though you're expecting a quick release of your cake, no matter how well you know you greased it with um, flour and or butter and um, flour or lard, or baking spray when you flip it over flip it with some gentleness because i've had a cake fall like fall onto the cooling rack like it was a quick release but because i flipped it so fast it still tore the cake and i believe it was oh yes baby see how they see how it's not too soft we don't the pound cake needs to have the pound cake needs to have some life to it it is not soft it is not spongy I've even seen people brag about how spongy their bun cakes are, in which that's fine. But just to me, a bun cake is not supposed to be spongy. Not a homemade pound cake. I put it like that. Because a bun cake is anything you put in a bun pan. But if it's a from scratch pound cake, it's not supposed to be spongy. You should have some denseness. See how that cake? It's still dense. It's not just going in like it's cotton. But it's still soft and it's still tender. The same with this one. This is beautiful. They really turned out beautifully. I'm so glad that I used um, the farm raised eggs. The egg Cakes are completely cool now. This perfection, if I've ever seen it, perfection. I give all glory to God. I give all glory to God. It's my first time using this particular recipe, y'all. But at this point, I can read a recipe and tell whether it should be any good or not. Again, not that I'm an expert baker, but all you have to do is compare recipes. The things that absolutely should be in the recipe, you will see them appear constantly from one recipe to another. I call those the recipe constants. The, thing, the ingredients that are vital. The other things that aren't in every recipe, I call those the variables. So just like with science in school, you want to make sure that constant is there. The variables, those are the things that you can switch out to make it your own. I didn't know it was going to be this good when I decided to share it, I'll be honest. Not that I wouldn't have shared it, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. If you can get your hands on some form-raised fresh eggs, from somebody who raises chickens, get you some farm-raised fresh eggs straight out of somebody off somebody's land. 